thank you for all that you've been doing for us, carrying us through, Father God. Lord, being the lifter of our heads, being the healer of our bodies, the provider of all that we need, oh, Father God. There's no one like you in all the earth. Nobody that can be compared to you. And we give you glory, and we give you honor, and we give you praise because you've been so good. So good, and we're so grateful, Father God, that we're awake today and that you brought us over the highways and byways. We thank you. We thank you for those that are yet on their way, oh, Father God. Oh, we thank you. We bless your name, oh, Lord, to be among the land of the living, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, it's such a privilege and an honor to glorify your name with the saints today. Oh, Father God, hallelujah. Oh, just have your way on today. Have your way on today. Speak through our leader today, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, we come in expecting a word from you, Father God, that will lift up heavy hearts, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God that you would deliver and set free, save and sanctify, oh, Father God, filled with the precious Holy Ghost. We ask that you go into the hospital today, room by room, oh, Father God. Heal bodies and minds, oh, Father God. Touch those in the prisons, oh, Father God, in the rehabs, oh, Father God. And, Father God, we are so grateful, so grateful to see all the wonderful things that you do. And we're thankful to be able to testify to one another of your greatness, oh, Father God. Oh, Father, we just thank you for everything that you're doing. Bless everyone that comes through these doors today. Give each of us what we need, oh, Father God, because we know you are able. We know you are able. We know you are able. So we glorify you in advance. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but waters the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and bud, that is mine, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I, plan, I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whether to I send it. I will be reading from Mark, the third chapter, verses 28 and 29. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherever with soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost have never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. The word of the Lord is blessed.
affirmation of faith can be found in your program and on the screen. Our belief concerning the Bible. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible word of God. Our belief concerning God. We believe that there is one God, eternally existence in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Our belief concerning the church. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. Our belief concerning sin. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance and faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and accepting the gospel according to Romans 10, 8 through 10. Our belief concerning salvation. We believe that regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. Our belief concerning Christ. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body in answer to believing prayer. Our belief concerning the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for him. Our belief concerning sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost, by whom dwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. We ask that you remain standing for the morning hymn, Love Lifted Me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. to rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me now save am I love lifted Savior wants to be, be saved. 
announcements is as follows. The YWCC Young Women's Christian Council meets in the Bethel Fellowship Hall every second sun Saturday of each month at 1 p.m. Every third Saturday, there is a senior social meeting in the chapel from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Every second and fourth Friday is youth night here at Bethel, Maine. Every Tuesday evening is our youth Bible study from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Every Wednesday at 6 p.m., please meet at Bethel to go out and witnesses to the community. Every Wednesday, the praise dancers meet for rehearsal at 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Noonday prayer meets every Tuesday and Friday. All night prayer meets every first and third Friday at 11 p.m. Please remember the sick, the shut-in, and the bereaved family. Please remember them in your prayers. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together if you're glad to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The song says, there's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way if your soul's not anchored in jesus you will surely drift away there's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way if your soul's not anchored you will drift away, oh, drift away, Lord, drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away if your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely oh, drift away, Lord, drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away if your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely Drift away, oh, there's a storm out on the ocean, yeah, and it's moving. If your soul's not anchored to Jesus, you will drift away, oh, drift away, Lord, drift away, Lord, 
you will surely drift away if your soul is not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. Yeah, drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away if your soul is not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away, yeah, drift away, Lord, drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away if your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely come on, clap your hands in the building. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a willing working soldier. I'm a willing working soldier. Cause I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I got my sword and shield. I got my sword and shield. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. If I die, let me die. Yeah, if I die, let me die. If I die, let me die. If I die, let me die. Come on, put your hands together. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a willing working 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 soldier. I got my sword and shield. 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 Everybody, everybody clap your hands right here. Come on, clap your hands like you love Jesus. Yeah, I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a willing working soldier. I'm a willing working soldier. Oh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord, 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 everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Come on, clap your hands right here. Oh, yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. 
Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. He's been good to me. Yes, I praise him. 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 He's been good to me. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. He's been good to me. Yes, I praise him. He kept my mind. And yes, I praise him. 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 Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Come on and 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 praise him. Clap your hands 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 and praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Yes, I 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 praise him. Oh, say yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. He's been good to me. And I'm going to praise him. He's been good to me. I'm going to praise him. Come on, clap your hands. What's his name? 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 Demon Trimble. At the name Jesus. Demon Trimble. At the name Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Yeah, his name is Jesus. 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 My doctor. Jesus. My lawyer. Jesus. My bread. When I'm hungry. My water. When I'm thirsty. Jesus. 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 My way out. Jesus, my way in, Jesus, my way through, Jesus, my way over, Jesus, my protection, Jesus, my strong power, Jesus, my healer, Jesus, my deliverer, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, power in the name of, 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 healing in the name of, healing in the name of, healing in the name of, Jesus, his name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, his name is Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Call them like you want them, Jesus. Call them like you need them, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, clap your hands. Come to lift higher, higher. We come to lift them. 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 Say higher, 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 higher. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and give God some praise in this place. Come on, clap your hands like you're grateful. Clap your hands like you're Kimashaya. Clap your hands like you're grateful. And God, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your grace. And we thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you kept us another day. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to thank you. Everybody lift your voice and say thank you, thank you. Oh, we say thank you. Oh, you kept us another day and we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, and I just, oh, you. No music. Can we sing that all over the room? Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, we come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Oh, we come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And I just. So good, you've been so good. God, you've been so good, yeah. 
Had you been so good? Hallelujah. Oh, you've been so good. You've been, 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 you've been so very good. And I just, you, Lord. Come on, let's sing it again. Oh, God, you've been so good. So, so good. When I didn't have no money, God, you've been so good. Yeah. You've been so good. Father, you've been so good. Yeah. Hallelujah. So good. So good. So good. Yeah. I just want to thank you, Jesus, you Lord. Oh, you made a way. You made a way. Oh, you made a way. You made a way. Open doors that I could not see. You made a way. You made a way. Oh, and I just want to. You, Lord. Oh, we say thank you. Can we say thank you, thank you, Lord? Oh, we say thank you, thank oh, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, and I just want to. Mr. Warren, Elder Warren. This is a part of our service we can all take part in because we know one tenth of all our increase belongs to God. And we want to bless God by our obedience, by bringing to Him what belongs to Him. And not only do we have to bring our tithing, but we're asked to give Him an offering. We don't come before the Lord without an offering to Him because He has been so good to us. And we want to be a blessing to God on this morning.
Good morning, Beth Ellen, friends. Now is the time we've all been waiting for to take part in this service. It's something that we can do, and all of us know what tithing is. We know it's 10% of whatever type of income we have coming in. But let me ask you, how many of you know what an offering is, is what the offering should be? Have you ever thought of that much about that? Think about this. When you go to a restaurant and they give you your check at the end, and a lot of restaurants now, they have what this is, except a gratuity. And you don't start at 10%. Now it's 15, 18, 20. Now one of the things I say, you know, and my grandson, I know, one of the things he says, well, I'm not gonna tip the waitress more than I tip the father. I said, wait a minute, you're not tipping, you're not tipping now. That's not what you're doing. You're bringing, you're bringing your offering, okay? But should it be more than what you do for a server? Savior, server. Think about that. What is an offering? So offering is something that we have to keep in mind. We give as much as we can, okay? So let's keep that in mind. If we think about the church, what the, the expenses the church has, you're nice and warm here today, right? It's kind of cold out there. But just think of no one did their offerings. Look at us. We have a van out there, a van that has to use for transportation. The van, two months ago, we had to have the van repaired. It was over $1,000. Over $1,000. And we had to wait and get parts, and it was always an inconvenience. But if we're not contributing our offerings, sometimes we have to look the other way. Just look, you know, can I spare this? You can spare it because you, because you cannot outgive God. Keep that in mind. Okay. So we ask you today to come forward with your tithing and offering. Uh, we're going to have a prayer first. Father, we just thank you for allowing us to Supply our needs according to your riches and glory. Lord, we just thank you for all the blessings and the benefits of this day. We thank you for the, the strength to get the wealth. And we just thank you and we give you the praise, the honor, and glory. Now bless them accordingly to your will, some 30, 60, and 100 fold. These blessings we ask and we pray in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. of the Lord is thank God for your kindness and your generosity. At this time, we're going to prepare our hearts and minds to receive the word of God. Our pastor is working on this morning, but nonetheless, 
we're going to be blessed. There is a word from the Lord in the house for us today. Amen. 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 From our own district missionary, Joe St. Green. Let us all stand and welcome her. Come on, let's say amen. amen. Let's say amen again. Amen. amen. How many came out to have church this morning? Amen. amen. We're few in number, but we're going to have a time today. You believe it? Amen. Come on, let's put those hands amen. together. Come on, let's put those hands together. Amen. My God. I'm going to speak to you this morning as if we're in a state meeting. How about that? Oh! Come on! Glory to God. I'm a little bit under the weather, coming down with a little cold, but I know you all are praying for me. Certainly, you may be seated. We thank God for his goodness. We thank him for his loving kindness and for his tender mercies. We thank him because without God, we are nothing. We thank God for our leader uh, on today who is at work, and I'm trying to fill in for him. We thank God for the legacy of the James and Leatrice Hunt, uh, um, for the James and the Leatrice uh, Hunt's legacy. We thank God for our mother on this morning. We thank God for our honorable mother. We want her to know that we love and appreciate her and everything that she does for us. Mother, we love you. We respect you. Come on, let's give her a hand. There's not another one this, cross, this side of the river like Mother James. Amen. She is the best. Amen. And she will set you straight in a second. That's right. That's right. She believes in following leadership. Amen. All right, I need your amens. You know what I say when I get up? Don't be sitting there like somebody took some crazy glue and glue your lips together. Amen. Hey. Mm -hmm. We gonna have church this morning. Is that all right? Amen. We're gonna go into the word of God. <coughs> on today, the last time, and look, I, I don't have to even get you roused up, honey. We just coming out of revival. Oh, come on now. We just coming out of revival. So you ought to be revived already. Come on. All right, let's get into the word. First Samuel, the last time I spoke, we spoke about David, and I'm still going to be talking about David on this morning. The 30th chapter of Samuel, 1st Samuel, <clears throat> beginning at the first verse, we're going to go down to verse 6. And it reads thusly, and it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag and smitten Ziglag and burnt it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David two, and David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam 
and Jezreeli Tez, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, and Charmel a tite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man for his son and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. <laughs> Good God from Zion. Let's go to verse 8. And David inquired at the Lord saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. Hmm. For thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Let's go to verse 18, and just the first stanza of that. Verse 18 says, And David recovered oh my god and david recovered all if i had a theme to speak to you this morning the theme would be you shall recover all Come on, say with me. I shall recover all. Now the 30th chapter of 1 Samuel tells the story of David coming back from war with his men to find the whole city of Ziglag burned to the ground, and their wives, and their daughters, and their sons uh, were taken captives. The Bible declared that David and his men were so distraught that they lifted up their voices and they wept until they had no more power to weep. Mm. And so the question before us uh, uh, is, uh, what do you do when that which has taken you a lifetime to build and accumulate uh, goes in a flash? Come on, church. How do you maintain your sanity? How do you maintain your integrity, but most of all, your relationship with God? Oh, in times like these, when trouble comes and sits in your lap and overwhelm your very being, when for the first time in your life, you don't have answers or options, and you ain't got nobody to bail you out. How do you handle the weight of depression? How do you survive when, 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 when uh, the odds are stacked up against you? How do you survive when the enemy has you in a chokehold? And you can't even catch your breath. Come on, come on, come on. God is saying to you this morning, don't give up. Yeah, because this is not the time for giving up, but it's the time for holding on. Turn and tell your neighbor, hold on, hold on. My God, the best is yet to come. He. 
I say to you like the Apostle Paul said to the Philippian jailer in Acts 16 and 28, don't harm yourself. <laughs> hey. Don't harm yourself because the only one who is too big to fail has promised to come to your rescue. Come on, church. Come on, church. He promised to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God sent me with a message to tell you this morning that you shall recover all. Turn and tell two people, I shall recover all. I shall recover all. I shall recover all. Come on, come on. Put your preaching voice on and tell him I shall recover all. Good God from Zion. In our lesson today, David was destined to be king. But David soon found out that the path to be king and the path to success are often not paved with gold. And life seemingly throws unexpected obstacles and obstructions and roadblocks along the way. But this was not David's first rodeo of experiencing uh, tribulation and hardship. By the time he had slain Goliath and was the champion of Saul's army, people were already touting that David was a better leader than Saul. Come on. And their mantra was, Saul has killed his thousands, but David has killed his ten thousands. Come on. Come on. And this thing got under the skin of Saul. And caused, the Bible says, uh, uh, an evil spirit came upon Saul that caused him to want to kill David. My God, so David was always running for his life. David was always on the run because Saul wanted him dead. And so David went through many difficult circumstances and hardship, wandering in the wilderness, hiding. And I'm sure David wondered, how is it that I'm stuck in the wilderness when God has called me to be a winner? The Bible, the Bible lets us know that David would be king. But the trials of life that David have had to endure and experience made the idea of being king far-fetched. Have you ever been under such pressure that you begin to question the validity of God's promises to you? Because see, when you look at your situation, Ah, oh, you couldn't see no light at the end of the tunnel. Ah, oh, you couldn't see no way out. You couldn't see how you were going to survive this attack. The devil will have our minds preoccupied with the obvious giants uh, that is threatening uh, to take uh, our very life. Come on. But in essence, what he is doing is stealthily infiltrating and seemingly robbing us of our defenses uh, in the word of God. Come on, church. Come on, church. 
Oh, the devil acts like a terrorist by sabotaging and transforming our strength into weapons of mass destruction. But like David, we need to get up and encourage ourselves in the Lord and in the power and providence of our God and God's faithfulness in keeping his promise. Our God is a way maker. Our God is a promise keeper. Our God is a miracle worker. Oh, has he done anything for you in here this morning? Let me hear your shout yes. yes. Woo! And the Bible says that he is not slack concerning his promises, but he is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to him in repentance. Oh, and he watches over his word to perform it. Oh, if he tell you he's going to do something, you can take it to the bank because he will do it. Woo! Good God. So now in order to escape death by soul, we see an unlikely partnership that placed David in <coughs> a very precarious position. <clears throat> David ends up joining forces with Israel's arch enemy, the Philistines, to go to war against Saul. David was about to attack the very nation over which he was destined to be king. Have you ever been involved in a situation where you were doing something that could destroy your own destiny? Come on, don't miss this message this morning. Involved with the wrong crowd. Come on church. No, you don't have to rob the bank. Just be sitting in the getaway car. Involved with the wrong relationship. Years ago, Catholics marry Catholics. Baptists marry Baptists. Presbyterian marry Presbyterian. But holiness folk, they just marry anything off the street. Weak as water. I just said something right there. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. For the Bible says, how can two walk together? Lord have mercy. How can two walk together except they're in agreement? Come on, church. Come on, church. Sister say, I don't have a problem with that. Say, I can change him. No, but I agree with that. I agree with that. If he wearing a diaper. <laughs> yes, you can. We don't even have the power to change our own selves. Talk about we want to change somebody. Come on, I just said something right there. Wrong relocation. You better not move until you, you sure enough know that God said move. Cha, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving from over there because all them folk do is just use, use people. You know good and well you're the one that told God, use me, Lord. You told God to use you. I just said something right there. Sometimes 
Our bad decisions can make us our worst enemy. And so God has to bring us back to Ziglag to bring us back to our senses. Come on, church. Come on, church. Because a lot of times we done forgot from whence the Lord has brought us. He got to bring us back to Ziglag. Woo, Jesus. See, Ziglag, Ziglag was a place where we didn't have two pennies to rub together. Lord, have mercy. Ziglag was a humbling place. Woo, Jesus. Ziglag was a place that when you came to the church and the mother rebuked you because your dress was too short and your, 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 and your breast was hanging out, you say, yes, mother. And you covered yourself up. A place of humility. And that's where God has to bring most of us back because we ain't humble no more. We don't want to take instructions because we know it all. Ziglag, the humbling place. Ziglag, the place of desolation. Ziglag, the place of hopelessness. Ziglag, the place of desperation. Ziglag, the place of ruin and destruction. Ziglag, the barren land. He got to bring us back to Ziglag so he can put us on the potter's wheel. And make us over again. Thank you, Jesus. Because, see, we forgot that it was at Ziglag that he found us. Drowning in our own blood. Whoa, my God. We laid there, helpless and dying. Come on. And he delivered us. And told us to live, live. Turn and tell your neighbor, live, 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 live. And so what David needed was a zigzag experience to fix his focus. Come on, church. David and his men joined the army of Achist, a leader of the Philistines army. But the Philistine commander said, no, no, no. So you send him back because if he joins this war, he might just turn against us and hook up with Saul against us. We don't need him. Send him back. So David was ordered to go back to Ziglag. But before he returned to Ziglag, uh, uh, the Amalekites, the Bible says, raiders, they burnt their homes. You heard it. Burnt their homes to the ground. Took their wives and their sons and their daughters and all their belongings. So the Bible records for us. The anguish and the anger and the lamentation that David and his men were experiencing as they returned to Ziglag. The Bible, the Bible said that they wept oh, till they couldn't weep no more. Oh, and from there, things took a turn for the worst. Oh, David's men talked about stoning David. They talked about killing David. But in the midst of all of this, uh, uh, what did David do? He did something that you and I have to do in order to recover all. We have to trust in our God. We have to encourage ourselves in the Lord no matter how bad the situation is. Come on. But before David could recover anything, he had to go through a series of testing. See, some of us don't want to go through nothing. The minute it gets hot in the kitchen, we want to leave. Come on. We can't stand nothing. 
I said, we can't stand nothing. I said, we can't stand nothing. It didn't feel good, but it was working together for his good. Sometimes when God chastises us, it don't feel good, but it's working together for our good. Mm -hmm. And you have to pass the test before you get the promotion. Come on. You can't keep failing your tests and expect God to promote you. Can't take nothing cussing the mothers off having an attitude. I read something somewhere that says, y'all can help me out, y'all sorry too. It says, um, your attitude is like a flat tire. It says it won't go anywhere until you change it. Hmm? Your attitude determines your altitude. Lord have mercy. I said, Lord have mercy. And don't, don't you know that the saints of God can pick up when you got a bad attitude? All right, wait, 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 wait. I don't want y'all gonna get mad. Let me get back here. They can pick it up, honey. When you ain't right, Mother Hunt used to say, she ain't right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, what be wrong with her? She ain't right. You can't keep failing your tests and expect a promotion from God. You've got to graduate from high school if you want to go to college. Oh my God, that's just the scheme of things. You can't skip over kindergarten talking about you going to college and you fit every kindergarten test. Can't take nothing. You've got to learn to take a licking and keep on ticking. We all have to go through a, a seasons of testing. And it's never a matter of uh, 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 if you will be tested. It's a matter of when you will be tested. You can't escape this thing. Mm-hmm. Honey, you want to be promoted, honey? You got to come up the, the, the steps. You can't take the elevator. Come on. And just because you passed the test didn't mean you got everything right. Because in God's book, you don't have to ace the test in order to pass it. Come on. Folk be wondering, I wonder how in the world did she pass that test? Folk be wondering how in the world you get through what you got through. But you got to let them know I was able to open the textbook uh, to get the right answer. And my textbook is uh, the word of God. And I opened it up to Romans 8, uh, 37 and 39, uh, where Paul says, we are more than conquerors. Oh, turn and tell somebody, I am more than a conqueror. Whoa! I am persuaded. That neither life nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, neither height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Woo! The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, uh, ah, David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. One of the most eloquent books in the Bible. Come on, watch this. On the one hand, it's piled up a black heap of calamities, loss. Peril, desolation, and unimaginable grief. Ah, oh, but on the other hand, opposed to that is one clause that says, but David. Jesus, have mercy. 
I wish I could go into that this morning. But David, that three-letter conjunction changes the trajectory of any situation. Somebody said, but. But, but God. But God. But God. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but <laughs> the Bible says weeping may endure for a night. Oh, come on. Y'all are sleeping. I said weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. <laughs> If you just hold on, if you just hold out, God is going to make everything all right. He's going to fix it for you. He's going to turn it around. Woo! Sit, 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 sit. Woo! David had a personal relationship with God. When trials come, he didn't wave the white flag of surrender to the devil. When troubles come, he didn't throw in the towel. But the Bible says that he encouraged himself in his God. Everything else was gone. He had nothing but God. David couldn't say my house. He couldn't say my children. He couldn't say my wife. He couldn't say my, pos my position. But he could say my God. <laughs> he could say my God. The only thing that the enemy could rob him of, couldn't take away from him, was his relationship with his God. Oh, you may lose houses and you may lose land, but never lose your relationship with Almighty God. If you got God when you don't have anything else, you're rich. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Woo! He's rich in houses and land. Come on, church. As long as we've got God, we've got everything. He's everything I need. He's everything I want. He's everything I desire. Oh, Jesus. Sit, 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 sit. David threw himself on the mercy of God. Come on, church. I say he threw himself uh, on the mercy of God. Uh, and he asked the Lord, uh, shall I go uh, to recover our stuff? God said, go get him. I said, God said, go get him. For the victory is already yours. And you shall recover all. I said you shall recover all. You might be fighting Goliath this morning. But I dare you to compare the power of Goliath with the power of Almighty God. Throw yourself in God's mercy and worship God in the face of your trial. Worship God in the face of desolation. Worship God in the face of sickness. Worship God in the face of diseases. Woo! Worship him in the face of depression. Worship him. Come on, we got this thing all wrong. 
We don't need, we don't need to, eat, to worship him only when we got the victory. But we need to praise our God even when we're under attack. Woo! Because the victory is in your praise. Your deliverance is in your praise. Woo! God says no matter what you have lost in life, no matter what the loss is, he said, I want you to bear down. Oh, oh he said, I want you to double down and encourage yourself. Better days are coming. I said, better days are coming. I said, better days are coming. God said, I'm going to fight your battles. He said, I'm going to bring you out. Come on. He said, I'm going to be the shade on your right hand. Just trust in me. Just trust in me. Just trust in me. Go get your stuff. <laughs> go get your stuff. Tell your neighbor, go get your stuff. You shall recover all. Come on. Oh, my God. Y'all are sleeping. You shall recover all. Go get your stuff. Don't be scared. You got God on your side. And one with God is the majority. Claim your healing. Claim your deliverance. Whatever the devil stole from you, go get your stuff. Thank you, Jesus. You shall recover all. You might have lost your car in repossession. Oh, you might have lost your home in foreclosure. Yes, Lord. You might have had to file bankruptcy. You might have lost your job. You might have lost hope of seeing a brighter day. God is saying, go back and take back what the devil has stolen from you. Go get your stuff. You shall recover all. God said whatever was shut down for you in 2019, he said I'm going to open it up for you in 2020. Oh, you have had to shed some tears uh, in 2019. Uh, but God said those tears was necessary. Oh, so it could take uh, the shadow off your eyes. Uh, so you can see where he's fixing to lift you up uh, in 2020. Go get your stuff. For you shall recover all. God said, I'm going to give you a double for your trouble. I said, God said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your socks off in this season. I'm going to bless you with jobs. I'm going to bless you with position that you're not even qualified for. Woo! Go get your stuff. You shall recover all. Come on, stay with me. You shall recover all. Woo! He said, I'm going to restore to you the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar and the locust have stolen. You shall recover. You shall recover. I said, you shall recover. Gonna make your enemies your footstool. Mm -hmm. Gonna prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. They're gonna have to watch you eat. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is your season of overflow. This is your season to soar with the eagles. Stop running around with the chickens, honey. 
It's time to soar with the eagles. Come on. Come on. 2020 is your year. And God says, not only will I restore what the devil has taken from you, but he says, I'm going to upgrade it. Ah, and with interest. Oh, come on. Oh, you all should be clapping on that one. I'm going to upgrade it, and then I'm going to add some interest to it. 2020 is your winning season. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's your winning season. 2020 is your destiny altering season. Season of blessing. Season of restoration. Season of healing. Season of unspeakable joy. You shall recover all. Come on, tell your neighbor you shall recover all. Come on, come on. I'm done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There might be somebody here today. If you're here, you have not given your life to the Lord. I want you to come now. If you need prayer for anything, I'm just going to touch you. And you can go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. I need. The oh, I need thee in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every hour, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, bless me now, Edobosa, my Savior. You shall recover all. I come, you shall recover. To, to, the, to the I need, I need the, the oh in the name I of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every hour, thank you, Lord. Every hour, thank you, Lord. Yebo do the bosa. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Oh, All right, I pray. Bless yes, Lord. Me now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, My Lord. Savior. Yes, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is so. It is so. It is so. It is done in Jesus' name. Oh, you shall recover all. You shall recover all. Yeah, da 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 you shall recover all in Jesus' name. You shall recover. You shall recover. Go get your stuff. You shall recover all. You shall recover all in the name of Jesus. Keep his body healed in Jesus' name. Me now. My Savior. I come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful master message we heard on this morning. Amen. Oh, you don't sound like you enjoyed the message. You don't sound like you're going to recover all.